organization has a public-facing web application, Requirement 6.6 would apply to you. Now, this particular requirement is really intended to establish controls to prevent applications that might later become vulnerable uh, or where you might have, uh, your team might have developed an application with a vulnerability, however, they missed it. And that, that does happen from time to time. So there's two ways to meet this particular requirement. All right, the first one is that you have either an application layer firewall that resides in front of your web application. Uh, and where this is the case, you need to have this web application firewall uh, actively scanning. It's kept up to date. It's managed. It's either blocking. Uh, and if it is not blocking these applications, what's happening is that your team is notified and that the, the alerts uh, are immediately acted upon. The second way to meet this requirement is that on an annual basis, you do uh, a web application vulnerability assessment. A lot of organizations kind of get this a little bit wrong. Understand that a web application security assessment is a very directed, very specific assessment. It's not a pen test and it's not a vulnerability scan. However, those activities might occur as part of this, this activity. In a web application security assessment, we're going to be, we expect what's going to happen is that people are looking at the source code, they're looking at the back end, they're really trying to identify all issues that might exist within the application that there, where there might be a vulnerability as opposed to just scanning the application. So understand that a web application security assessment is a much more thorough uh, activity than just your normal quarterly scan. Now this, this web application security assessment would need to be done by somebody that's qualified, somebody that's competent, somebody that's independent or specializes in it, and I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, and it needs to be done after any significant changes to these applications uh, and at least annually. So if you have somebody within your organization that is uh, specific to testing the vulnerabilities or testing applications uh, that are not developing applications, they're, they're, it's okay to have them do this test for you. But if, they, if this particular individual or team uh, answers to your development department, um, that there needs to be, some, we're looking that there's some type of organizational independence. Um, in this, we need to make sure that there's, that the application, when it goes into production, that it's not going to be left vulnerable to, an app, to uh, vulnerabilities.